Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today our question comes from Aaron, KI6UWT, and his question is this. Hey Dave, I'd like to put up a 130-foot N-fed half-wave 80-meter through 10-meter antenna. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have 130 linear feet anywhere. I do have a corner of the backyard fence with a reasonably tall tree where I could put it up as an inverted V with half running down, presumably over the back fence, and half running down the side fence. The V angle would be well over 90 degrees, okay, and the bird's eye view angle would be about 90 degrees, either at or slightly above. Thank you for your time. Uh, so I think we're going to have to get the board out. If you take a bird's eye view of what's going on, he's got his house over here, and we're looking down, and this is the side fence, and this is the side, and this is the back. Now, in a lot of places, power lines run along the back of the lots. So you want to be careful that you're not near those power lines. Now, what he's talking about doing, he's got a tree here. Okay, that's a tree. I have to tell you that because otherwise you wouldn't know from looking at it. So he wants to run his antenna from in the tree somewhere where he's got some height okay out over here to the back fence and over here to the back fence okay now i do not recommend running the wire along the top of the fence it's not going to work well same over here get some height and then you can tie it to some spot on the fence make sure that this is high enough so that anybody walking here doesn't snag that with their neck. What you may want to do is attach a, a 2x4 to the back fence, assuming it's um, wa uh, wood or if it's metal, use uh, some wire and attach that 2x4 to, to the fence so that you can get the end of the antenna up about 8 feet for safety's sake. And then you'll run your coax out there uh, whoops, he said in-fed. Let's take that out and go in-fed. Okay, so you've got a 49 to 1 uh, ballon. And it's going to be right here. And then there's, and you'll have to experiment with whether you need this. Of course, right here is your ground rod. And that's where you have your lightning arrestor. And uh, you can look at uh, thecastler.com slash reference to see what the lightning arrestor is, I recommend. Okay, so you'll attach that there. There is an optional ground connection on the... Um, the the ballon uh, which you could connect to ground here you can experiment with it either way you could also just connect it to the fence um, although that will charge the fence a little bit maybe you don't want to do that for safety reasons just put in a, a ground rod there sometimes the coax will outside of the coax works effectively to ground that okay so now this way You've got, let's see, it's uh, 132 feet from here through here to here. So it's 66 feet on a side. Okay, and you will have a nice antenna. Can you do that? Is it a V? Yes. Is it a classic V? Classic V puts the center up, and from the top it looks like this. Okay. Um, but there's nothing that says that you can't move those things out like that. Now you will find, since this is technically a, uh, it's starting to look like a wave antenna, you will start to see a little bit of propagation directionality 
in this direction. So you've got the V here, some. Now I say some. And I would also say minor. Okay? So that's how you can hook that up. And yes, um, Aaron, that will work. So, uh, Aaron, I think you've got something there that you can work with and put that thing up. And uh, I think that would work uh, just fine. Um, you know, ideally, we'd like to put it up in a straight line, but ideally, rarely exists. So we adapt. And that's a good way to adapt. So there you have it. We're having another giveaway in the month of December. And here is how you can enter the giveaway. This is the giveaway. Don't worry, we'll get it wound up for you. This is an MFJ17754 uh, trapped antenna that does 20 and 40. Now, this was one of the antennas that I considered for use uh, in the reference station. However, it doesn't cover all of 40. It covers half. You can pick which half. You can see that I've got the... Uh, wire kind of coiled back on itself to shorten it. The 17754 comes deliberately too long and so you have to uh, shorten it and so they provide these little things with uh, uh, screws here that uh, attach the wires together and you can use those um, to do your adjustments or you can just bend the wire back like I did there. This is made of bare copper it has been outdoors for quite a while. It is in perfectly good working order. And this will be uh, giveaway number five. Giveaway number five. And so, here's how you enter. Send a postcard to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On your postcard, QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in an envelope, give me your name, your call sign, and the address you would want to ship to if I draw your entry, and um, your phone number in case I have any questions. And uh, this could soon be yours. This thing is, although it works on 40, it's only 42 feet long instead of 66 feet long because you get a little bit of loading in the traps right here. Okay? That could be yours. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so by going to decastler.com support and looking for a way there that works for you. You can either pick the tip jar, a recurring tip jar, or Patreon. Patreon is a, a great um, way to do it because they handle all the credit card stuff and like that. Of course, with PayPal, I never see your credit card information anyway. So it's all kept safe at uh, PayPal. Um, what was I going to add to that? Oh, I'm thinking of adding one more thing to the list of things you can buy. And that is a memory stick with 20 or 25 of my most popular videos as something you can use for club meetings and stuff like that. So, until the next meet, 73.